Hi, Good Curve here, with a work in progress video on formation movement. And I've also included a brief first look at Gina, the spawner utility on steroids for Unity Terrain. Ok, let's run the demo. I've created a terrain using Gaia to demonstrate some of the new features of my formation movement code. I've added a few of the assets I've collected over the past few years to make it a bit more different from the terrains created with the example assets in Gaia. But more on that later. The basics for this formation movement is you can create formations based on a series of presets. Custom formations are in the works for a future update. Units can move into a formation on command. At this stage only with units with a character controller are supported. I am looking at other methods to be included later. Formations can be forming, moving, reordered and halted. When moving they follow the A-star pathfinding path. Currently it only supports the professional version, however I am looking into the option to use the free version of A-star 2. The formation code now includes a few improvements. The units better follow terrain and deal with obstacles colliders. Sound is now linked to the movement state of the units. I added a few optimized triggers. The first one makes the formation switch into another shape, for example from wedge into column. We will see that when the formation moves into the canyon. The second one activates an animation when the formation crosses it. You can use it to animate doors for example, but in, in my example I used it to animate Tenkoku to switch from sunny weather into thunder shower. On my to-do lists are snake-like movement in single column mode. As you can see halfway in the demo, the current column formation doesn't follow the path naturally. The smaller compact formations simply look better. Also, support for custom and procedural formations. I've created this code to use in an indie VR game I'm slowly building and I'm considering to make this into an asset and sell it as an extension on the asset store. Just let me know through the comments or by sending me a PM if you're interested. It looks like creating an asset is not all fun and games, so it will depend on the level of interest. Ok, back to the terrain. I've made a few changes by swapping out the textures and I've added some, ex uh, some assets like grass, sunflower, rocks and village objects. All the credits go to the creators of those great assets and I will list them in the video comments. I didn't use the Gaia spawner to place these assets on the terrain. This time I used the Gina spawner utility. I will probably do a more in-depth video on that later, since I feel I only have scratched the surface of its capabilities so far. What's my first experience with it? Well, you can use it to refine your terrain spawning with a lot of control. Gaia will create the terrain outline, doing a great job, and Gina can be used to brush the fine details with much more control. For example, the sunflowers can be added as a Gaia spawner rule, but it will place them wherever they fit the rules. With Gina you can place them as if with a brush, but it's not the type of brush Unity Terrain brings to the game, which is basically a dumb brush with virtually no control. This brush you can control with a huge set of rules. So I added the sunflowers, which are from Speedtree, to the Gina spawner and placed them only on the spot where I wanted them to be, with quite a bit of precision. I did the same for the grasses. I also added the post-processing stack by Unity for the anti-aliasing and the volumetric fog by Cronect. I completely bypassed the demos they provide and had the ground fog up and running in a minute. Like with Gina, I will look into it in more depth and perhaps do a proper video on it later. The last thing I wanted to mention in this video is the sound. Don't forget how much this adds to the atmosphere of a demo. Tenkoku brings nice ambient sounds, but it doesn't feel right if the characters are marching left and right and you don't hear anything. So I browsed through the free sound repository and added the sound and code to make this work. I think the demo is improved by the marching footsteps. 
OK, let's return to the demo and let it play for a few more minutes. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and if you like it, then please vote it up.